All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's a match we've dug up from the depths of the vault from Mar March the 16th in 1991. You see Mean Mark Ash in the ring, and if you look very closely at the referee, his name is Shane Helms. He now competes in the WWE under the name of Hurricane. This is back in the day for ICW, without a doubt. A uh, long time ago, March 16th, 1991, now you see is the clip uh, as uh, Shane Helms checks out Mean Mark Ash for objects. He approaches the opponent. This is none other than the legendary Nelson Royal, many-time holder of the NWA Junior Heavyweight title. Uh, he traveled all over the country, held many titles, former tag team champion, numerous accolades for this man. He coached wrestling uh, in the early 90s or late 80s, early 90s in the uh, out of, um, where was it at? Out of Mooresville, North Carolina, his hometown. All right, there you see referee Shane Helms uh, explaining the rules and regulations to Mark Ash and Nelson Royal, who shake hands. We might have a friendly uh, about coming up from here, although Mark Ash, even at this time, early in his career, 1991, was not known to be a fair player by any means. Uh, of course, this is very early in Mark Ash's career, less than, less than two years into his career, and he's facing... Probably a good 30-year veteran at this point, Nelson Royal. Nice collar and elbow lockup as both men. As Nelson Royal right there with a kick to the upper leg on the opening break. Nelson Royal is already setting the precedent for this match uh, with not allowing a clean break on Mean Mark Ash, although Nelson Royal is the fan favorite going into this match. Collar and elbow, Nelson Royal with a headlock into a headlock takeover, and Mean Mark Ash is on the mat. Referee Shane Helms, of course, this is this is the before the hurricane days. This is before the three count days. This is before, actually, this is before Shane Helms had his first professional wrestling match ever. And right now, Nelson Royal cranking on Mean Mark Asher grabbed the hair, but didn't get an advantage by doing so. Referee Shane Helms staying on top of the action. Both men working back to their feet. Into the ropes. Now Ash with the advantage because Nelson released the headlock once they hit the ropes. Ash with a cheap shot now working in the midsection area. Firing off in the midsection and Nelson Royal takes a headlock of his own. Both of these men are feeling each other out as you can tell. Because um, this is very early in Mean Mark Ash's career. He started in June of 1989. Oh nice, nice belly to back suplex there by Nelson Royal to get out of the headlock. And he goes for a pin but... Mark Ash gets his foot on the ropes at the one count. This is very early in the career of Mean Mark Ash. So Mean Mark Ash definitely has his hands full, and that's probably why he's playing it safe, because he's in the room with a very close to 30 years in the business on him as going into this match. And Mark Ash with that nice standing side headlock. Nelson Royal fires a shot off to the midsection, but not enough to break the hold. He pushes Mark Ash back into the ropes. Referee Shane Helms trying to get a break. Nelson Royal with a shot to the midsection. And now he takes a front chancery. But Nelson Royal set the precedent in the first lockup but not, with not a clean break once they, they reach the ropes. But now they're trading back and forth. It's been a headlock to headlock. And now Nelson Royal with a front face lock. Mark Ash comes out with an arm with a full arm twist. Cranks it again. He pounds on the elbow. And right there, he sends Nelson Royal to the mat with a leg drop across the arm. Ash has got the upper hand at this point, and he might. He looks like he's going to work the arm, which means he's going to take advantage of it. Referee Shane Helms trying to see if Nelson Royal's ready to give it up, but it look, doesn't look like he's ready to give it up yet. We're very early in the match still. This is still the both of these men are feeling each other out. Nelson Royal right there takes the head scissors and gets out of the uh, predicament that he was in, cranking it down. And Shane Helms is checking to see if Mark Ash is ready to give it up. Both of these men are playing it very cautious because I know going into this match, neither man knew very little about each. They knew very little about each other. Ash has positioned himself. It's like he's trying to get out of this hold here. Nelson must have it locked in pretty tight because Ash is having a hard time getting out of it. 
Ash comes out and takes his headlock right back over. Good move on the on the count. Good move on the side of Mean Mark Ash, but Nelson Royal rolls it back over. Looks like he's got a front face lock from this vantage point. There's probably going to be some glitches in the tape uh, through this. Like I said, this goes back to Mark, March 16th, 1991, as you can see on the bottom of your screen. Good one to pull out for ICW back in the day, Volume 1. Right there, Ash trying to get out of that side headlock, and he takes the arm again. Another, another arm twist. Dropping the elbow across that twisted arm of Nelson Royal. Nelson Royal's got to be in a world of hurt now at this point. Although he's got that fist clenched. And right there, he lets Mark Ash have it, but Ash didn't release the arm, and another twist. Of course, we got some glitches in the tape. Like I said, to be expected with the age of this tape. Right there, Ash wound up and held it and then dropped it down hard. Ash is working on Nelson Royal's arm. Nelson Royal then a world of hurt. But Nelson Royal pushes Mean Mark Ash back to the ropes, which is going to call for a break. As you see, Shane Helms trying to get the break countered. Mark Ash twists it. Now Mark Ash is going to the dirty tricks. He's got his arm across the rope. He had to break the hole, but he's right back on that arm. Wise move. Nelson Royal, being the crafty veteran that he is, you do not want to give him an opportunity. Ash is working that arm. Nice arm bar right there. Ash is working the arm. He's not giving Nelson Royal a break on that arm, which is a smart thing. Right there, Nelson Royal with an arm drag got out of it, though. Ash didn't charge back in because Nelson Royal looks like he's ready to take him on full force head on. Both of these men, although we're a good seven minutes into this match at this point, are still feeling each other out, but Ash takes right back to that arm. There's been not a lot of high op, high impact offense, but Ash has been on the dominant side of the match at this point. Cranks that arm back into the arm bar. Nelson Royal is definitely, Nelson Royal is a thinking man's wrestler. There's no doubt thinking three or four steps ahead. Right there, Ash with a handful of hair taking taking uh, Nelson to the mat. And Ash puts that knee to the side of the head there, pulled it off. I don't know why he did that. More pressure right there. He puts that knee right back into the side of the head and cranks on that arm bar. Nelson Royal down for the two count. But as I was saying, Nelson Royal is a thinking man's wrestler, and he knows he's wrestling someone very young in this business. He's probably waiting for a mistake that thus far just hasn't come that hasn't come to uh, come to pass at this point because this man has been all over Nelson Royal. Drops a knee to the arm of Nelson Royal. Drops another knee to the arm of Nelson Royal. Nelson Royal needs to needs to mount some kind of an offense here, and he needs to mount it quick. And right there, Nelson Royal with a handful of hair. He must have, right there with a knee across the arm of his own. Nelson Royal, like I said, Nelson Royal is not a slouch. He was looking for an opening, and now he's got one, and he took advantage of it. And as we're talking about the glitches in the video, Nelson Royal, Nelson Royal stomping his man. Nelson Royal backs him into the corner. But, oh, Ash takes the arm right back over there. Nelson Royal evidently slowed down. He, he slowed down a second to think about a move, and Ash cranked him over and got has got Nelson back on his flat on his back on the mat. And of course, he's got that knee into the side of the head. Ash is grinning for the camera, and, and referee Shane Helms, referee Shane Helms in this match is get, is getting a wrestling lesson because he's seeing two men that are just filling each other out and they're taking advantage of every little opening they get. There's nothing high impact about this. This is classic wrestling at its best because these men are w using wear down, wear down moves. Ash has concentrated his attack on the arm and every time he's got the upper hand and advantage here, he does something to that arm. Ash is wearing his man down. It's an old strategy that was made famous by the Anderson brothers, the late Gene Anderson and Ole Anderson. Ash working that arm. He's holding on for dear life. Nelson Royal dropped down with a drop toe hold. Nelson Royal found an opening and he took it. Like I said, Nelson Royal is a crafty veteran. There's nothing we can take away from Nelson Royal in this match whatsoever. 
So Nash is sitting on that leg. And we're cranking that leg, and Ash is in a position where he can't really do anything, which is good for both men. Um, well, it's not good for Mark Ash because Mark Ash is in a, in a severe amount of pain, and he's being worn down the longer that pain it lasts. But it, Nelson Roy is giving Nelson Roy a quick breather right there, cranks that knee into that leg and bends it back even further. Nelson Royal is working that, and, that, and see Nelson Royal's in a position, like I said, where he gets a breather because he's been on the receiving end of most of the punishment th just thus far in this match. And we're now hitting the 11 minute mark of this match, and right now, no one has a clear cut advantage over the other. Ash favoring the leg, but of course, he was just in a world of hurt with it, but Ash is in the corner, and Nelson Royal. I've got to say, as much of a veteran as Nelson Royal is, that was a mistake. He gave Ash a breather, and Ash came right back out when took the headlock. We've seen a lot of the headlock from Mean Mark Ash. But see, Mean Mark Ash, as I've said before, he is way out of his league at this point in his career with a, with a veteran of Nelson Royal and the championship caliber that Nelson Royal has had. Ash with a headlock takeover of his own, but he's keeping Nelson Royal down, and Nelson Royal has not been able to mount much of an offense at this point in this match. Nelson Royal fighting that headlock. Ash released it for a second, which was a, was a rookie mistake. I mean, I don't care what happens. You do not turn loose of your hold. And I'm sure that that is one of the lessons that Mean Mark Ash learned from Nelson Royal in this match. When you've got a hold, you do not release it for anything. Nelson Royal lock, but Ash, look, Ash still has a hold of that headlock. See, Ash learned learned on that movie. He's not let go of that headlock, and all that rolling momentum Nelson tried to get, he ended right back flat on his back in a headlock. This is classic wrestling. This is catch as catch can wrestling. This is this is wrestling. This isn't a high spot fest. This is professional wrestling. You see referee Shane Helms right there trying to make a three count because Nelson Royal, he is flat on his back. He's not. He's not out to the point that he's not going to kick out, but Nelson Royal has yet to mount a, much of an offense at this point of the match. Right there, Ash, right there, made a mistake. He released that headlock for a second, and Nelson Royal got, got some movement. Ash was able to get it back on him. Right, Nelson Royal was able to work his way back to his feet, and Ash hanging on to that headlock for dear life, which is a smart thing to do. And you've got a hold that's working. You don't release it right there. Shoulder tackle. And Nelson Royal goes down to the mat. Nash picks him right back up into that headlock. Ash probably could have followed with something a little better off, but like I said, Ash very early in his career, and he's still learning at this point. And 13 minutes into this match, Nelson Royal has not had much of an offense that we can speak of. Ash, Ash has dominated the match. Now, however... Nelson, with the many, many, many years of experience... You know, at this point, he could be playing possum with, with the rookie, Mean Mark Ash. Nelson backs his man into the into the corner. Well, Ash turned it around before they got to the corner. Ash is in control. Ash slowly releasing right there. Yanks him back out to the headlock. Ash broke the hold and yanked him back into the headlock. Perfectly legal move. Referee Shane Helms, there's nothing he can do about it because that, that was perfectly legal. Ash did break the hold, but then he applied it right back. Royal, the crafty veteran that he is, I, I'm, I'm a little surprised he hasn't mounted much more of an offense because um, still appears right there he's pushing down on the head, grinding away on the head of of uh, Mean Mark Ash. Very painful looking. He's bending that neck backwards. Mean Mark Ash, of course, threw him outside the ring and has gone to work on him now. Oh, introduces Nelson to the ring post there on the corner. Ash wanted to do something with him and Nelson was fighting him, so Ash put him into that ring post too. Right there, Nelson Royal with a hard shot firing back. Nelson firing back again. Ash firing back with shots to the midsection. Now we're seeing this thing turn into 
more of a fight. Nelson Royal rolls right back, rolls back in the ring to break the count because they were very close on, on being on the verge of having a double count out. But now we see the temper starting to flare a little bit. Ash played dirty and used the ring post, and then Nelson Royal fired right back. It's going to be interesting to see where things go from here. Lock, Ash takes the headlock right back again. Ash was smart. He, got, he took a lock up. Before he could give Nelson time to move, he took that headlock right back over. But Nelson's got him backed into the ring corner. Oh, right there. Nelson with a hard shot to the midsection. Snap made by Nelson Royal. He picks Ash right back up. Now he's got him in a front face lock. Nelson seems to be mounting an offense now. Nelson, evidently, Ash got uh, Nelson Royal's blood flowing. Referee Shane Helms down there making sure that Mark Ash doesn't want to call it a night and go home. Because we're sure, and I'm sure Nelson Royal's applying that front face lock and twisting that head and neck. You see Ash is working to his feet. He's not ready to call it a quits and go home yet. Nelson got him backed up against the ropes. Going it around. Nelson spins it around. They're, they're jockeying for position right there. Shoots at Nelson Royal. Caught with a hip toss. Ash shot Nelson to the ropes. He shot him with a hip toss. Drops an elbow on Nelson Royal. Ash couldn't decide what he was going to do with him, so he went to drop another elbow, and that was a mistake because he telegraphed it too much. He paused. He went to do something and changed his mind, and now Nelson with a boot to the side of me and Mark Ash's rib cage, one back across the back of the top of his neck, close to the back of his neck, top of wherever he hit him. And anyway, right there, oh, hard, hard shot by Nelson Royal, put means Mark Ash on the ground. Nelson Royal's experience in uh, conditioning. Nelson Royal was known for his conditioning right there. Hard takeover. Ash hit the top of his head on rolling the way over. And Nelson goes for the three count and don't get it. And he does it and he went tries again. He gets a two count. Nelson Royal's experience is now coming out against the rookie mean Mark Ash. And here we got another one of those glitches in there in the film here. But this is to be expected from 1991 footage back in the day vault. Nelson Royal back with that front face lock. Referee Shane Helms right on top of the action. Ash made it to the ropes. Nelson Royal with a headlock. Oh, right there. Nelson Royal with a hard shot well, from the headlock. It's obvious tippers are starting to flare just a little bit here. Nelson Royal with another snapmare. But Ash is getting right back up. Neither man right there. Ash grabs that headlock again, which was a smart move because it slowed down Nelson's momentum. We're 18 minutes into this match, and to be honest with you, neither man has a clear-cut advantage over the other one. This is classic wrestling at its best because this has been a human chess game. There's been a few pawns captured, but nobody's taken out none of the heavy hitters right there. Nelson goes to whip Ash, and Ash held on. I've never seen a match in with a headlock, but the way this one's going, it just might do that. Nelson Royal gets Ash back to the ropes. Right there, Nelson with a hard shot while they're on the ropes. Nelson sends Mean Mark Ash to the ropes with a nice elbow. Ash is on the ground. That Nelson Royal with that elbow. See what he follows up with. Oh, he just stomps on the face of Mean Mark Ash right there. Nelson Royal, like I said, Nelson Royal set the precedent right there. Nelson grinding and tearing at the eyes of Mean Mark Ash, it looks like. Referee Shane Helms trying to break it up. Nelson Royal set the precedent with the first lockup when he did not, when they made it to the ropes and was not a clean break. But now Nelson Royal is showing that, his, you know, that he can play dirty right there where it looks like a chokehold and a rake of the eyes. I guess Nelson Royal appears to be frustrated that he hasn't been able to do as much with this rookie as he wanted to. Right there, a hard shot because Nelson should have wiped the mat with me and Mark Ash walking into this as young and as young in the business as me and Mark Ash was. Right there, a hard right hand. Nelson Royal to side headlock with the back in the corner. Right there, Ash grabbed the headlock. As soon as Nelson let go, Ash grabbed the headlock, which was a smart move because Ash was getting his rear end handed to him by Nelson Royal right there. Break that momentum. We're now at the 20-minute mark in this match. Somebody has got to mount an offense. 
if they're playing, because if, if one man's going to put the other one away, someone has got to mount an offense and do some heavy damage here. Because right now, this match could still go either way. Right there, and when they got to the ropes to break it up, Nelson grabbed a headlock. Ash tried to shoot Nelson across the ring, but Nelson was able to hold on and not, you know, not let go. Ash, all right, Ash got him shot that time. Oh, hard shoulder tackle. Ash is down. Nelson stumbled and fell through the ring. But like I said, we're back. We're at back at a point where right now it's, it's, it's still anybody's match. Wait a minute, Ash goes outside the ring. Oh, a hard forearm shot to the back. Another one. Slams Nelson's head to the side of the ring. Nelson Royal's in trouble now because Ash seems to have a fire lit under him right there. Axe handle to the back of the head. Another hard shot to the chest area. Entered, oh, right there. Nelson Royal. This is the third time in this match Nelson Royal has hit a ring post. Hard forearm across the back. Another, oh, sends his head to the side of the ring one more time. Shane, referee Shane Helms is counting. Hard forearm shot. Another hard forearm shot. Nelson Royal retaliating. Shane Helms has made the 10 count. This match has been ruled a double count out or a double disqualification as both men are just firing back on each other. Nelson Royal sends Mean Mark Ash back in the ring. I don't, I don't think the combatants know the match is over yet. Nelson Royal has him in the corner. A nice elbow shot to the midsection. Ash fires back. They're back and forth. Oh, Nelson with a headbutt. Ash with a hard right hand. Nelson with a headbutt. Ash with a hard chop. Nelson with a hard chop. Snap mare. The match is over, ladies and gentlemen. Now the action, the action is really heated up now that the match is over. It was ruled a double disqualification or a double count out. I'm not sure which because both men were counted outside the ring. Now referee Shane Helms getting in between the two to separate them. Nelson Royal in the ring. He's ready for more action. Mark Ash, I'll be honest with you, I don't think he really wants to go anymore, although they were toe-to-toe -to -toe back and forth. Ash, to, Ash wisely leaves the ring. He raises a double disqualification. He did not win. Referee Shane Helms explaining. Mark Ash runs. He really doesn't want any more of Nelson Royal at this point. Thank you for watching the ICW Back in the Day DVD Volume 1.